Well, good day. I hope that this video is finding you in good health and good spirits. Today's question for the cards is I want to look at the electoral energy around the Canadian government. It's currently headed by Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada. He is the leader of the Liberal Party. Now, Canadians are not going to the polls anytime soon, I don't believe. The government's mandate doesn't run out until October the 20th, 2025. So we're like 18 months out before the government has to be changed. But there will be some indication in the wind that we're going to have uh, an election probably this fall, maybe. It'll depend on how the summer bodes for the government, I'm sure. But just had a draw, if you will to run the cards on my home country. Now, fair disclosure, I am a dues-paying, card-carrying member of the Liberal Party of Canada. Um, and so I am got a natural bias towards them. However, I do recognize that um, Justin Trudeau has been in office for quite some time. He's gone through some uh, rough periods, of course, COVID hit a lot of governments and people are uh, understandably upset about how that went and often government of the day gets blamed for that. Um, and Pierre Pellever, his the conservative rival, um, hasn't been on the stage long enough, I don't think, to really annoy him. He certainly hasn't led government, so uh, the last conservative government that we had was Stephen Harper and that was that was a while ago. One World Tarot by Lena Rodriguez and Sienna Rose. That is the um, deck that we are using today. And I'm just pulling a, a Celtic cross on it. Like I said, just kind of want to have a sense of what kind of energy we got going or da down around here. And signifier on this card is the ten of cups in a reverse position and this is often you know the voters card if you will and upside down it's uh indicates disharmony and dysfunction and i would say that yes there is there are some legitimate grievances that people have with the liberal government people have legitimate grievances with every government and this is crossed by the strength card. Now the strength card in the upright position like it is here. This is about, you know, moral strength, character. It's about bravery. It's about having self-confidence. It's about, you know, having a kind of a power that you can use in a responsible and compassionate manner. So, you know, I think that is kind of the goals behind the Liberal Party, whether it gets translated to actual policy and action, of course, is up for the voters to decide. But that's kind of the, the theory behind it. In the past position, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Now, this is a card that is about, you know, discipline and craftsmanship. It's about the practice and skill. And I would say that the Liberal government has done a fair good job at governance itself um, but it's been work and it's starting to look a little shop worn around the edges in my opinion now in the future we have the ace of cups in a reverse position ace of cups in a reverse position is rejection it's the loss of love and kind of repressed emotional state and so this is not a positive sign for the the liberal government here in canada i say that based on the energy right now and like i said we're 18 months out from election probably is um rejection from the voters and in the sky of the reading these are the overarching energies that we have we have the hanged man and he's in a reverse position and this is a card that is about stagnations and it can also be about you know kind of a fear of letting go and being uh, caught up in indecision and I have seen 
that just as an observer here in Canada, that there seems to be a lack of decisiveness at the federal government level. They're just kind of, they know there's problems and they're not quite sure which one to tackle first. We've got housing crisis, we have homeless crisis, we have drug crises and, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. We also have, you know, the divides in this country between East and West and that are still simmering to various degrees of temperature. I'm going to stop babbling because that could turn into an entirely unscripted waffle. In the foundation of the reading, we have the Five of Wands. This underlying energy for the reading, I mean, this is competition and conflict and disagreements, and this is partisan political conflict, like the, the strife, the tension that is there. And it is not just about policy. There are people in this country, they are of a conservative bent, who hate, I mean, viscerally hate Justin Trudeau because he was born. Really, there is that element of conservatives they have. They've got a beef against his father, who's been dead for 20-some years, who was, in some respects, Canada's greatest prime minister. And the fact that he was born while his father was the prime minister of the country, they just can't get over it, right? So... They hate Justin Trudeau since the time he was born because he was born to a prime minister they hated. That's some of the energy that we're dealing with. Message from Spirit. The Three of Swords in a reverse position. This is a card that's about optimism and that kind of is Justin Trudeau's governing philosophy is an idea of optimism and recovery. But we'll see if the Canadian voters are in that kind of mood. Now, in the environment, we have the emperor in an upright position. The emperor, when he's upright, we're talking about logic and action structure. Kind of that very structured institutional response. How will the Canadian institutions respond to what's been going on? I think we're holding our own. However, we do have this sentiment, and I still think it's small, where they hate government. They do everything they can do to undermine. They are trying to uh, undermine the rule of law like they are in the United States. Like We have a small group of that mega disease that has infected the Canadian uh, conservative population, which is a shame because we need conservative thought, but we don't need mega. And hopes and fears. We have the Queen of Swords. Judith herself has arrived, and she is a lady who is armed with wit wisdom and logic and straightforwardness, and she's a very independent thinker, and she is able to communicate, and one hopes that she is capable of communicating you know, the government's position in a way that's acceptable to people or obviously from the liberal point of view, there's a fear that she can communicate and connect with um, members of the conservative side, you know, the people that are gushing that way. Final outcome. We have the Seven of Swords and it's in a reverse position. And my question here is, if that's the kind of energy that we're dealing with, is there some kind of scandal that is going to hit the government and hit it hard uh, between now and when the election is held? There might be. I would say that there's some upset here and that Ten of Cups in reverse at, that we opened with, telling me that you know the voting population isn't happening, isn't very happy with the uh, ruling party, and we're kind of getting these drips, drips of pessimism. And that future card that came up that uh, was the Ace of Cups in reverse rejection. I would say that unless things change, 
over the summer, I think the Liberals are in trouble. And if we didn't need that hit hard enough, Shadow Card is the Six of Wands in a reverse position. And that is the card about failure, being defeated. So I don't think it's looking very good for the Liberal government at this particular point in time. We'll see if things change over the next six months, but right now it's, I don't think it's going to be a good term for the Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. And of course, time will tell. That's the reading for today, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.